Welcome to the Nux video training series. In this video, we'll show you how to configure a kiosk profile and apply it to your enterprise devices using Nux Manage. A kiosk is a device pre-configured to provide a customized and controlled experience for users and customers. With Nox Manage, IT admins can easily create profiles that allow devices to operate as either a single app or a multi-app kiosk and quickly deploy them to devices in the fleet. So if you're ready to learn about this great feature, let's get started. Before you begin, you will need an account at samsungnox.com, access to the Nox Manage console, and one or more devices in your fleet that can be deployed as a kiosk. Once you're ready to begin, sign into your account at samsungnox.com, locate the Nox Manage widget, and click Launch Console. This will take you to the Nox Manage console. Let's create a new configuration by selecting Kiosk from the navigation menu, then clicking Add. With Nox Manage, you can create two types of kiosk configurations. A multi-app kiosk lets you configure a device with more than one application and can be customized with branding specific wallpapers and colors. A single app kiosk provides a much simpler configuration where only one application can be launched from the device's home screen. Let's start with creating a multi-app kiosk. Select multi-app kiosk and click OK. This opens the kiosk wizard. First, enter a name for your multi-app kiosk and verify that the package name has been set. Next, configure the appearance of the kiosk by choosing the device's orientation and grid and changing optional advanced settings like the background wallpaper, screen composition, and more. In our example, we'll go to advanced settings to ensure that the status bar is displayed. If we want kiosk users to be able to access common device settings like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or airplane mode, enable these by expanding the Advanced Settings menu, then selecting Device Settings. Let's now add a few apps to our kiosk by simply dragging and dropping the app icons to the preview area. Once you've added the necessary apps and configured the kiosk to your liking, Click Save then OK. It may take a moment for Nox Manage to build the kiosk configuration. Once complete, the configuration will appear in the kiosk list. When you're ready to deploy the kiosk configuration to your enrolled devices, select Profile from the navigation menu. On the Profile page, click Add, then give your new profile a name and select the device platform. Click Save and Set Policy to continue. On the Set Policy page, select Kiosk in the Android Enterprise submenu. In the Kiosk App Settings field, select the type of kiosk that you want to deploy to your devices. Since we just created a multi-app kiosk, we'll select that here. We'll then need to add the kiosk configuration we just created. In Set Application, click Add and then select your kiosk from the list. After you select your kiosk configuration, Proceed with additional policy settings, like whether you want users to access utilities or whether you want the screen to turn on automatically when the device is plugged in. If you want the kiosk configuration to be deleted from the device once the policy gets removed from Nox Manage, then allow this option here. When you're finished with setting the policy, click Save and Assign, then OK. Under the Group tab, select the target group to assign the profile to then click Assign and Apply. A confirmation dialog appears with a summary of your profile. Let's now create a single app kiosk. Instead of navigating back to the kiosk page, you can alternately create a kiosk configuration while creating a new profile. From the profile page, click add, then enter the profile name, select the platform, then click save and set policy. 
Select Kiosk in the Android Enterprise submenu, then select Single App in the Kiosk App Settings field. Next, to Set Application, click Add New. This launches the Kiosk wizard in the pop-up window. Give your Single App Kiosk configuration a name and make changes to the device settings as required. Click OK to confirm to push the changes to your devices. Locate the app that you want to add to the device, then drag and drop the app icon into the preview area. Click Save, then OK to build the kiosk configuration and return to the Set Policy screen. Proceed with additional kiosk policy settings as needed. When finished with the settings, click Save and Assign, then OK. Under the Group tab, select the target group to assign the profile to, then click Assign and Apply. A confirmation dialog appears with a summary of your profile. Click OK to confirm to push the changes to your devices. Once the device receives a kiosk profile, it continues to operate in kiosk mode until either an IT admin removes the policy or a kiosk escape is initiated from the device. If the device needs to exit out of kiosk mode and a server connection is unavailable, a device user or a local administrator can exit the kiosk by selecting the information icon and selecting Exit Kiosk on the About Kiosk screen. The user will be prompted to enter a Exit Kiosk code, which can be obtained from the Knox Manage console. To obtain the code, navigate to Device on the Knox Manage console, then select the relevant device name from the list. In the Security tab, locate Kiosk Mode Status and find the Exit Kiosk code. Once the code is entered in the device, the kiosk is removed. To re-enter Kiosk Mode on the device, the IT admin must reapply the kiosk profile using Knox Manage. This concludes our walkthrough of how to configure kiosk profiles and apply them to devices using Knox Manage. Once your kiosk devices are fully deployed in the field, IT admins can provide device users with live support and troubleshooting using our Knox Remote Support features. We'll provide a link to another training video about this great feature at the end of this video. For more information about the kiosk features in Knox Manage, or about any other Knox services, please visit docs.samsungnox.com. Thanks for watching.